Hello everybody, this is the first of two videos um, that describes cellular signals in context of the stress response. So inside the cell we need to, um, the overall goal is to increase the energy available during times of stress. And we're going to look at two different scenarios here. So the first one is cortisol, which is a hydrophobic nonpolar um, hormone, which can obviously pass directly through the cell membrane without any need for a protein channel. Okay, so it's simple diffusion, move across the plasma membrane and bind to an intracellular receptor. Again, reinforcing the idea that this is a hydrophobic molecule. Um, once cortisol has entered and bound to that receptor, it will actually induce a conformational change in the receptor. And those two from now on, during this signal transduction, will behave as one molecule. And that molecule can enter straight into the nucleus and will behave from now on as a transcription factor. So remembering from earlier on in the course, transcription factors facilitate transcription. They support RNA polymerase in binding and release RNA polymerase to transcribe the gene of interest. Um, so what will happen once cortisol receptor complex has done its job, RNA polymerase will transcribe and produce messenger RNA molecule, which will leave the cell to the right, uh, leave the nucleus, find the ribosome, and the polypeptide will be translated. Eventually, the effective proteins will be produced, so the final protein modifications will occur. And the role in response to cortisol, the role of these effective proteins is to synthesize glucose from amino acids. So amino acids that are available within the cell can actually be utilized to produce glucose and therefore meaning gluco more glucose is available for cellular respiration in the mitochondrion, um, supporting the stress response. Okay, so quick recap, cortisol enters by simple diffusion, binds to a receptor complex receptor, and that cortisol receptor acts as a transcription factor, eventually triggering gene expression, and the proteins that are the product of that can actually induce the final cellular response, which is synthesis of glucose from amino acids within the cell. Okay, so elevating the energy available. Have a look at your sentence sort and see if you can organize that correctly um, to describe this signal response model that we've just gone through here.